Hello everybody, this is Clayton from International Connector. I wanted to show you one of our products and how to use these Dinkle Terminal Blocks. This is the DK10N Dinkle Block. We've got five reds and five blacks. Some people always ask uh, how these terminal blocks work. So this one doesn't have any jumpers in it yet. So it just connects from this side to this side. It's just a line continuation. So it's a single in, single out. So you can see where the wire goes in here. And then you take the screwdriver and tighten it down. And this elevator cage goes up and clamps on your, on your wire. Now that will connect to this side, just like a wire nut, but it's a very nice, efficient, clean way to do it. Um, solid, secure connections. Now this block won't connect to this one unless there's a jumper in there. So in this assembly kit, it comes with loose two pole jumpers and you put them up there in the jumper ports where you can see that there's two holes, one hole there and one hole there. So you can overlap, you push these in, you do it with your fingers or you can do it with the back of a screwdriver like this. But you can see it goes almost flush. So you really wanna make sure it's in there. I get questions sometimes where people say, oh, I turn it over and it falls out. That means you haven't pushed it in. It's uh, two pieces of metal here, which almost kind of works as a spring. So it's really tight. It would never, never, ever fall out, no matter how much shaking you do, if it's actually installed correctly. So with ones up to this size, you can still use your fingers, but you know it's going to start hurting when you get to these larger gauge ones. The smaller ones are no problem at all. Um, so now these two terminal blocks are connected. So that means all four, these two and these two, terminals are connected. So you could have four wires cleanly connected. These are just going to be single in, single out, and same with the black. So it's really nice for like a solar install where you've got your blacks and your reds. Um, we've got tons of different colors. We actually have 10 different colors that Dinkle carries. And uh, these beige ones, these are just end brackets. So I've got a video about end brackets, but that just holds everything in place. These blocks are really in there tight. So it's kind of redundant, but it just makes it extra secure. Now this block, if I don't know if you can tell, but this foot, this left foot is a little bigger than that back, right? On the right foot there, okay? So this is where you could lift off a block. A lot of people don't really understand, like I was saying, which part is connected to what. If you actually take your finger or a screwdriver, pop it under that foot, push it out, then you can release that terminal block. And you can actually see the guts on it, how one side is always connected to the other. There's no, there's no way to disconnect this bar. This is a copper alloy conductor bar right there to connect this wire connection to this wire connection, right? So there's no left to right separation ever when you've got it vertically mounted like this. It's just up and down that you can separate. So to get this back on, I'm gonna slide it in that foot there and then I'm gonna snap it down on this top, on this part. Right, so we're gonna put the foot in there and you'll hear a click. There you go, and you're back in business. So some people want to take these apart, manipulate them. Din rail terminal blocks are perfect for in the field installations because you can do that. Same thing for these SS2s. You've got two screws here, which you can kind of see poking through the bottom, one digging into the rail a little bit, the other one pushing down that plastic clamp. This is an SS2 end bracket, and it snaps on really tightly. So if you wanted to, you can pop that one off the same way, but first you're gonna to have to loosen up those screws. So whereas these screws are for the wire connections um, to tighten down the elevator cages, these screws are, I guess, for lack of better terms, they're just structural, right? So it's just holding everything in place. It's just biting in to clamp down. Um, the only other part on here is we've got an 11 inch piece of aluminum DIN rail that this is mounted to. And then we've got an end cover. So this is a DK10NC end cover. These blocks are DK10N, all dinkle parts. And uh, that's what you're gonna get with the assembly kit. You'll have these other jumpers that come with it. So you're gonna have eight. That gives you, when you overlap the jumpers, it gives you enough to connect all the reds and all the blacks. So to connect three terminal blocks, we're gonna overlap two jumpers, push that one in. And now those two jumpers are gonna connect three terminal blocks. I'm gonna go ahead and take the screwdriver. Make sure it's in there nice and tight. You can see how those jumpers overlap. So now we're gonna have, you could have a wire here, 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 
here, here, and here, and all six of those wires will be in common. So that's the beauty of this block. You can have them in common or you can have them single in, single out extensions. So check out our uh, channel here, International Connector, uh, DIN rail terminal blocks, and uh, post some questions, give us some likes. I'm happy for uh, our customers to give us good ideas for new videos and answer all your questions that you have. Have a great day.